go. Mel, I mean, I, I have to acknowledge you. Um, you know, there were some times in, in the show today where you said, you know, I don't have the right words for this and I'm not clinically trained or whatever. But I think one of the reasons why you're so successful is because you speak uh, not from a textbook. You don't sound like a robot, but you sound like a human being. And I think we can all relate to that. And it just makes sense to me that you guys would be doing so well because you're so effing relatable. Uh, you just feel that from the moment you start talking, you know, and, you know, um, this is the first time we've, we, we, you and I've spoken. I feel like we're best made um, straight away because of that. Um, so it, it, it's definitely no surprise that people are getting, are getting the kind of results that you're speaking of, um, which is really cool. So yeah, thank you so much for coming on the thanks, podcast. Thanks Tom. I'm really trying to accept all your compliments. I'm like, getting like <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> heart opening. It's beautiful. Thank you. For sure. <laughs> I, I think it's, I think it's important to pay people compliments when, when compliments are necessary. And um, yeah, it was just, it was just something that came up up in the podcast i think it was really important to mention that especially when you said oh, i don't have the words and things fuck the words like yeah thank you tom yeah it's important <laughs> it's, it's really important. funny because like that you know giving people compliments is really like beautiful um for both people but it, it can be a um triggering experience to people because it's like throwing a rock in a pond, right? Like mm. A clear pond, but the rock hits the bottom and all the muck comes up. It's like you give someone a compliment and then in their mind, they're like, no, I'm not like really like that. I'm not that good. And all their negative beliefs start coming up. So yeah. it's like in, in, and, and, and when you were just saying that, I was like really trying to receive it and then then really be aware. Sorry, I don't want to take away from your compliment. I just want to talk about my sure. experience, but like, really be aware of like, is there stuff coming up for me that is trying to contradict what he's saying or not accept or fully receive, you know, what he's saying. I think yeah. when you try and give someone a compliment or a gift and they're like, Oh no, no, no. It's like, it takes the joy away from both of you. So I think that's a, a lesson for our listeners is like that in itself, see how you take compliments that's <laughs> and such see a good what point. comes up for you. <laughs> that, that's such a good point. I remember um, Siobhan, telling me about when she did her breathwork teaching course, um, there was a moment there where they had to pay each other compliments and just receive it in, in full presence. Wow. And, accept them. and um, I know that Siobhan really found difficulty in that. So when, when compliments are necessary, because I'm biased, it's all the time. I really try to just like look her dead in the eye and be like, no, listen, this is really important for you to know. And she's like, ah. <laughs> no, but it's and she's good. Like, oh, my yeah. <laughs> she's getting good at him now for sure. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs>